Hi, this is JT and welcome to G Club. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Star Realms. And this is just not a review, um, because I'll just tell you right now, I love Star Realms, one of my favorite games ever, and I've played a ton of it on the app. And uh, what we're about to do is uh, we're about to actually do a video where I'm going to be commentating playing through a game uh, with a good friend of mine, uh, Matt the Newberg, or Matt the Newberg, <laughs> Matt the Cutter Newberg. Um, he's one of those guys that helps run um, one of our uh, Facebook groups that's about the community, and it's called a Star Realms fan-created uh, community page. And uh, they run a ton of tournaments on there, and uh, I've, I've been in there since the near beginning, and I've absolutely loved my time in that group. It's been fantastic, and they run a lot of great tournaments. They do a great job with it. So Matt also uh, runs a podcast with his uh, co-host, um, Dustin the Mystic uh, Klingman, and uh, they run a podcast called Mega Holland, which is specifically designed to talk about the news and strategies behind all things Star Realms. And they've been going at it for uh, quite a few episodes now. Um, I want to say they're up in the 70s, maybe, um, but I know it's been a lot. They've been around for a while, um, and they do an excellent job on their podcast. So definitely go check them out, as well as the Facebook page. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be getting into the mix with the Cutter Newberg, and uh, we're going to be playing a game against each other. So uh, let me switch over here uh, to transition, uh, and uh, he uh, just picked up Let's see, he just picked up a trade bot and a missile bot. Uh, that's really smart of him. One of the things that's really good to do is to try to get enough what we would call scrap. And these two cards here uh, that you get at trade bot, this allows you to scrap a card uh, in your hand or discard pile, as well as the missile bot allows you to be able to scrap a card um, in your hand or discard pile. So what this is gonna do for you is uh, it's gonna allow you to be able to weed out the cards that are kind of weak. Okay, which is typically your starting deck, your scouts and your vipers. So uh, he's going for scrap early, um, which is really going to put me at a disadvantage here because I don't see anything else out there. And I've only got three coin. Now, typically you want to just put your coin out there cards after cards because as you get further in, uh, this is kind of a bad habit of mine as I just kind of played all. As you get further into the game, um, you're going to um, deal with events. And events are going to come out and really kind of mess things up as well as if you don't play those cards in a certain order, sometimes that can really mess you up as well. So hitting play all, really bad habit of mine. So try not to do how I'm doing it. And I'm sure Matt's on the other side saying, don't do that. Um, but let's check this out. So um, I do need some economy here. Um, and uh, I probably will go uh, Federation shuttle or survey ship here. So let's just do Federation shuttle. And maybe I can get something else that's worth two that might pop up. Ooh, Imperial Fighter. Um, this is a good one. It'll discard a card for me. Um, yeah, this is not going to go well for me, I think, here at the beginning. Um, but let's go ahead and do Imperial Fighter uh, so I can get some discard on him. So if he does try to scrap down some more, I can start discarding cards out of his hand uh, to make him a little bit um, less effective. So... Uh, this is not the best start, but I got to go with what I go with. I'm going to pop in for the two that I got from the Vipers, and I'll kick it back over to him. So, um, Matt's great. Uh, let's check him out here. So, Matt is level 62, okay? <laughs> level 62. So, he's been playing a long time in the app. Um, he's got himself ranked up there probably pretty high. Uh, he's got 50 out of the 63 wins. Uh, the way that works is kind of a ladder, if you will. Um, you uh, play against random opponents uh, that are similar in your level. And if you beat them, you move up the ranks. If you lose, you start working your way back down. Uh, now, they recently did an update in the app where um, you won't actually go below the level that you've achieved. So you never get knocked back down, which is kind of a nice thing, if you will. Um, but you really have to make it up. And the way that this works is that you have to work your way up the wins. Um, that is at least one more uh, than the level that you're going for. So you'll see here, this is level 62. He's got to get to 63 wins in this level in order to be able to move into level 63. So let's see what he's got here. Uh, he's got four. Uh, he's got one. Uh, so he'll hit me for one. And so the question is, what is he going to do? Is he going to go for Barter World? Is he going to go for Blob Destroyer? Um, maybe he picks up the Survey Ship. I don't think he's going to grab the Stealth Needle. Sometimes that's a trap card. 
um, I, I swear half the time stealth needle, I pick it up and I end up having to just copy a scout. So, uh, he decided to go with the blob destroyer. All right. Which is pretty powerful. It's got a six hit. Uh, so he's really going to come at me with some scrap, um, and some blobs. So that green red is really going to hurt. Um, but I do have a battle mech out here that I could grab. Um, yeah, I'm going to end up with this multi-color setup, but I think I need the scrap. I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to let him get the scrap if I do this. Um, all right, I'm going to chance this, and I'm going to go with this Corvette so I can get some more yellow. And I'm going to grab... Ooh, that blob wheel is really tempting. Yeah, let's do it, because I can scrap that for three and get something big like that Dreadnought. Oh, baby. All right. So let's see how this goes. Um, so right now, I am rocking a yellow and blue. And if I can get moving here, so this is going to be three, four, five, six, seven. So I would be able to scrap this blob wheel unless he does something uh, fantastic here. And I'll be able to get that Dreadnought. So going yellow is actually going to be pretty good for me right now. Um, so let's see how this goes. So he's going to be hitting me for six with the Blob Destroyer. Let's see what else he's got. See, he's he's going smart. He's going one card at a time, which is what you're supposed to do. Not what I did. Uh, but let's see how this goes. Check, baby, check, baby. One, two, three. And you got to love this music. This music gets stuck in my head all the time. Okay, so he goes Explore. Uh, looks like he scrapped a uh, card out of his hand and just went Explore. So, let's see how well this works. He's got that Explorer in. He's still got that Trade Bot out there. He does not have a whole lot of economy, which is an advantage I have, so I can get some bigger cards out here that he cannot. So we'll see how this works. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm a level 17, I think it is. Um, so I'm not that high uh, like Matt is. Matt's got a ton uh, out here. So let's just do it how we're supposed to, all right? Go out here one at a time, bring this out, and then I will scrap this bad boy, and we will grab that Dreadnought. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! And I'm going to pop him for two, and we'll kick it back over to him, and we'll see what he's got. So I am going to have five, and I'm going to have a draw, so I could potentially have six. Yeah, numbers are my favorite to get six, so let's keep an eye out here for what we got going on. Uh, one of the things I like to do is take a look ahead of time before he goes and see if there's anything out there that I'm going to go after uh, so I can play my turn pretty quickly. Um, so we'll see what uh, what Matt does here. Okay, so he busts out all of those right there. So he's going to go four. I think he's probably going to pick up that stealth needle now. Pretty sure that's what he's going to do. And there he goes. With the scrap, it's going to be a little bit easier for him to get down to the point where Stealthy is going to be very useful. Stealthy is really only useful if you can play it up with another card that you bought off the market um, and not something that you end up um, having in, uh, in a Scout or a Viper. just doesn't end up going very well. But because he's got a lot of scrap, I can see why he picked that up at this point. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to throw out that draw. And I end up with a Viper. Uh, so let's see. That's going to give me five. And I'm going yellow-blue. But I gotta say that blob destroyer is probably gonna be something I need to either grab. Um, I don't know. Let me think. Uh, blob destroyer or battle mech. Could get a barter world, but I don't think I'm gonna need the economy so much as I'm gonna need to uh, to start hitting him hard. Um, Oh, this is going to hurt, but let's go with this because I'm going to I'm gonna hate draft on him so he can't grab that one. Uh, that's a big six there, especially at four. Um, green's really good at um, getting kind of a low cost but high power in order to be able to knock at your opponent. So if you can get a lot of green, um, that's really good. So let's see what he does now, uh, now that I've basically opened up and given him three uh, different... Um, Machine Colts uh, cards just waiting for him to take. So let's see what he's got. Uh, he has to scrap in his hand because he doesn't have anything there. Uh, and he goes with the Missile Bot. 
and he's probably going to pick up an Explorer. So right now he's scrapped down. He's only got, uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight. So he's only scrapped out two so far. Uh, he doesn't grab anything. He does not go with the Explorer. So uh, let's see. I've only got four here, but now he's going to have to discard a card because of my Imperial Fighter. So I will hit him for two. And because I got those other blue, let's just go with this Barter World here. Um, grab that one. And uh, hopefully leave ourselves open for something good later on. Uh, let's see, two, four, five. And I'm going to be able to hit him for seven. And because these guys got the four and their faction ability, I'm going to be able to pick up four authority each. So I'm going to gain eight uh, back into uh, my authority. So that'll be good. Um, he's potentially sitting on the Stealth Needle. And if he is and he gets a Blob Destroyer, that's going to be 12 on me. As well as him going to be able to scrap out anything from the row. I don't have any bases up, so that's no big deal. Um, or he could have the Missile Bot. Let's see what he's got. So he discards. Uh, looks like a Scout. He's got four cards left. Let's see what he does. Okay. He grabs the Survey Ship. Not a bad card. I actually like that card. I think it's underrated. I tend to pick it up. All right, uh, let's throw these guys out there. That gives me five. Uh, man, I got blue going on here, so I'm definitely gonna grab that trait escort. And then we're just gonna throw the rest of these guys out, pop them for seven, and let's see if we can make a run on him. Um, oh, my Dreadnought. My Dreadnought's gonna pull out this Corvette, and it's gonna give me another three, so I'll be able to hit him for 10, 11. I could scrap it for five, but I'm probably gonna wait on that one. Um, he doesn't have a lot of firepower, but he's got a lot of scrap, so that could be dangerous here. Um, but here's the thing. When you get to this point, you have to be careful because you're about to go into um, your shuffle. So the question then becomes, do I look to just grab a higher card, or is there something out on the trade road that I can grab for these three coins, throw it into my discard pile so that when I go to shuffle by grabbing these cards, because I'm going to be able to draw one from the Dreadnought and draw another one from the Corvette, then I'll be able to potentially pull that card out that I just bought. But uh, we'll have to see here if anything opens up, because there's really nothing here I think I'd want for three. Maybe the Blob Wheel, but I just don't know if I want that. Um, I got plenty of uh, cash here to be able to grab what I need, so I think I probably won't. Oh, and there he goes. He got it. <laughs> so he used his stealth needle to put turn that one into another blob destroyer and he's about to punch me in the gut pretty good so uh let's see what he does here uh what other he's got two other cards sitting in his hand what will he do <clears throat> okay so he just scrapped out that card gave me a corvette <clears throat> hmm maybe i'll wait maybe i'll grab the corvette Oh, and he scrapped the battle cruiser. I really wanted that one. Hmm. What you got for me, Matt? Come on, baby. He's gonna hate draft me, isn't he? He's gonna grab that Corvette, or he's gonna grab the blob wheel. What you gonna do? Which one are you gonna do? And he hate drafts me. Ah. Oh. oh, and then he gets a blob fighter. No, no. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that was a good turn. Um, hmm. All right. Well, I don't think there's anything that important that I want to grab right now. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's get this out. We'll grab this Corvette and we will shuffle that deck and bring it in. That'll give me four. Hmm. And I will smack him for 11. And now one thing real quick difference between physical and uh, the app is you don't have to play all your cards. So um, you can actually discard cards, but in the app you, you're forced to actually play it all. So there are some differences between the app version and the physical version. So if you're used to the app and you go and uh, you go into play physical, remember there are different rules. You have to pay attention to them in case you're playing um, in a physical uh, tournament or in physical play with your friends. So, all right. Er that didn't quite give me what I was hoping for. I was hoping to grab uh, one of these guys out here uh, to kind of help me out, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I don't think I can get him for 19 yet. Uh, it's 5, 9, 
15, 17, 18. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to grab him down. So if I knock him down 5, that'll bring him down to 19. So I think we'll stick with that. But yeah. All right, let's just grab this blob wheel. And maybe later on I, I can sneak out that mothership. I don't think he's got enough coin to really do anything. Yeah, he doesn't have any coin. The only thing he can do is mess with stuff in the middle. So I'm going to leave this. I'm not actually going to spin all the coin. That's something I used to do all the time uh, is try to spin all the coin I could. Uh, the danger in that is that you start kind of filling up your deck with stuff that you really doesn't match up with the strategy you're going for. So you do have to be careful that you're not um, throwing in stuff you just really just didn't need. Um, so, wow, I've got a lot here. So that's what, three, six, seven. I have enough to get the mothership. So the question is, will he scrap out the mothership uh, or does he have it to be able to scrap? He doesn't have anything to be able to scrap out the row, so I'm probably going to get my hands on that mothership because uh, he does not have enough to get it, I don't think. So remember, I'm looking at his deck, uh, which includes what's in his hand as well as what's in the deck. So um, this is helpful. I know it seems kind of like it's cheating, but if you have a game that's out there for a while and because you have 48 hours to play every turn, it allows you to be able to see it so you can kind of remember what your opponent purchased as well as the things that even you purchased. So he just picked up that big battle mech, um, which is good for him. It gives him a little bit more scrap and it gives him some draw. And, and it hits for four, so that's pretty decent as well. All right, so right now I'm looking at a guy that's only got five starter cards left. He's got a couple of uh, cards that allow him to draw uh, with the blob fighter, the battle mech, the corvette, the survey ship. And he's got this stealth needle that can kind of mix it up. So... He's got a pretty good deck here, so what I've got to do right now is I've really got to put the uh, the screws on him, um, as well as try to get myself some uh, some wiggle room here. So hopefully what I can do is get this build up in blue, and really the best chance I've got is, well, i got to get the right draws. I can't bottom deck uh, these major cards that I've got and end up with a bunch of these uh, starter cards in the top. Because right now, um, he's got a pretty powerful setup to come in and just punch me in the teeth and uh, and laugh on the way out the door. So I am actually going to go Barter World with two. And I'm going to grab this mothership. And then from here, I'm basically going to try to turtle up as much as I can. Um, and see if I can't keep hitting him. And not worry so much about trying to grab anymore. Because I think I've got enough cards uh, for what I need to do for the for now. I try to grab any more, um, it's really going to cause me trouble. So I think at this point in the game, you'll probably see me and me and my me and uh, Matt probably not grab a whole lot unless it's something big or has draw to it. Um, otherwise, just clutter up your deck. So let's see what Matt does. All right, so survey ship comes out. He's probably going to scrap it on me and make me discard a card. Would not be surprised if he did that. And I'm going to end up getting a draw here. So this is going to match up with this. I'm going to get four authority, eight authority, and I'm going to get a draw. So I'm going to end up picking up uh, this Imperial Fighter out of my deck and make him discard a card. So let's see what he does. What are you thinking, Matt? Man, he's got so much he can hit me with. And if he gets the right draw, uh, this could be the end real quick. Okay, doubled up. So he's probably going to take out my barter world at this point. There he goes. Hit me for four. Question is, will he pick anything up? I don't think he will. Oh, hey, there's take your chits. Well, at least I'll have somebody to play that I can beat if I don't beat Matt. So that'll make me feel better. Yep, didn't pick anything up. All right. Just as I suspected. So... Uh, draw up there, and I don't think I'm going to grab, oh, I, I will grab the survey ship, because it's a draw, and it could help me out with some of my yellow here, um, so I'll grab that guy, and we'll leave it alone from there, and then, boom, I'm going to hit him for 13, so I've got him on the ropes! Alright, so, if you could at this point, uh, pray uh, to the random uh, developers... Uh, or the developers of the randomness of this game and tell them not to bottom deck my cards right now. Okay, so I'm going to hit in turn 
and hopefully you prayed for me, and it's going to go through just fine. All right, so here we go. In turn, shuffle, and we get... Okay, not bad. We got a couple draws with the Corvette and the Mothership, but three scouts are there too, so it's not fantastic, but it's not bad. But if I get the right draws off of these two, I could potentially end this game right now. So let's see how this goes. Um, he has got a lot that he can come out and hit me with and make draws from, so if he gets the right combination, uh, I could really be hurting in a bad way. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so he scrapped. And, oh, wow. Here he comes. Does he have enough to take me out right now? That's the question. I don't think he does. I don't think he's got enough. Because he's got to hit me for another 14, and I don't see 14 in there. So he's probably going to be able to clear his deck. Oh, he brought me down to eight. Ah, uh, okay. So he's that's all he's got. He's got nothing else. So he's going to be moving back. And hopefully what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab something else out of here. Because right now, all I need is I've got six, seven right here. Okay. If I can draw two cards, that gives me at least five. Um, that's it. I'm going to take him out. But if I draw some scouts or some vipers, um, I'm pretty sure this is going to end me. So this is all about the draw at this point, and um, this is what it's going to come down to between me and Matt. Uh, so here we go. Corvette, draw. Oh. Okay. Not good. Not good, but... We got another shot here. Another shot. Okay, ready? Mothership, draw. Yes! Okay, so what we can do now is I can put out this Barter World. And just because I can, I'm going to bump up my authority just a little bit. And then I'm going to scrap this bad boy for five. And boom. I just beat Matt. So he certainly had it. All I had was luck of the draw at that point um, where pretty much... He could have taken me out. Um, definitely a great game uh, played by Matt. He played it right. He drew it all the way down to uh, just being able to really tighten up his deck. You can see here he had five cards in his hand, and he had four cards in his deck. So he had it all the way down to nine. He started with ten, uh, and he purchased a, a, a number of cards. So uh, great job to Matt. Um, certainly uh, always a tough component, opponent when I play against him, whether it's on this or um, even we got into the alpha for Epic. Um, and he's just a smart guy, a lot of fun to play, um, and does an excellent job. So, um, anyway, I really want to thank Mac Newberg for, uh, jumping on, uh, with, uh, the channel today, G Club, helping us out through the commentary. Um, so he, he always does an excellent job, uh, working through the community here. So, um, I certainly do appreciate him jumping on. Certainly a great game and, um, certainly go check out his channel, uh, or excuse me, uh, certainly go check out his podcast, Mega Holland. Uh, as well as check out the Facebook community, a Star Realms fan-created community page. So give them a look. Um, certainly great if you enjoy Star Realms. Uh, they've got a mentor program on the channel, so be, uh, be on the lookout for that. If you're looking for someone that maybe you want to up your game and be able to do a lot better at Star Realms, um, check them out. Uh, it's a great community there. Highly recommend it. And if you see me online, stop by and say hi. Also, be checking things out with the uh, Clash of Creators uh, as we're playing in a tournament uh, starting this Monday, um, October 16th, 2017. So check it out on Twitter uh, at Clash of Creators as well as the hashtag Clash of Creators. So let me know if you have any questions about the game in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you have as well as what kind of strategic tips would you have done differently in this game. Would you have any different decisions than I would have, or maybe even Matt? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to be able to see your thoughts, questions, and comments. So if you like this video, would certainly love you to hit that subscribe button so you can see more content just like this, um, as well as just would love to have you on board uh, so that you could influence what kind of content we put out there uh, by letting us know through your feedback. So 
If you like this video, hit like. Uh, if you didn't like this video, uh, then go talk to Matt about uh, about Mega Holland. I'm just kidding. So Matt's a good guy. Again, thank you so much, Matt the Cutter Newberg. All right, take care of yourself and uh, take your chits. If you're watching, hopefully this will help you win. And uh, Daniel from Plumpy Thimble, just there's there's no help for you. Nothing, nothing for you. This will not help. So just move along. Nothing to see here. All right. I don't care if you're a Virgo. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. You're going down. But with that said, my name is JT, and you've been watching G Club. You gotta be able to dance this music. Peace.